Have you ever wondered if Bastion was a crippling racist? Well, today you will know, and I'm going to decide how racist each Overwatch character is, based off of their lore, the cinematics, and all that stuff. Now, unfortunately, the main racism in Overwatch is just against Omnix or Omnix towards humans. So there isn't going to be like any race stuff like African Americans, Caucasians, stuff like that. Uh, there is one of those that you could actually kind of consider. Um, but overall, there's not really the typical racism in Overwatch. It's just Omnix and humans pretty much. And I'll be ranking them from least racist to racist using a tier list. Like I said, I did read all of their wikis and all of that stuff, so this is my best guess, and I also posted a community poll, so it's not going to be perfect, and I'm doing this mostly as a joke, but it is kind of cool to see what prejudice each Overwatch character has, which is kind of weird to say, but we'll just move on. So our first tier is going to be the anti-racist. These people are actively fighting to make it so Omnix and humans can live together in peace. So I think the most obvious person for this tier is actually Zenyatta. Zenyatta is basically Robo-Jesus, and that is why he tries to make peace with the world, with the Iris. And so obviously I think it's pretty pretty standard that Zenyatta is the most anti-racist. His wiki backs it up, his actions back it up, and he was basically literally programmed to be anti-racist. Come on, he's gotta be the least racist Overwatch character. Next up is the poster girl herself, Tracer. Now I actually expected Tracer to have some prejudice due to the fact that she's in Overwatch and Overwatch was specifically made to counter Omnix, but she's actually not. She has been seen multiple times saving Omnix and humans at the same time. Uh, the most notable ones were when she almost took a bullet for Mandata and then the second time is when she took a bullet for some Omnix again, which is kind of weird she does that twice. Tracer, I even think, could be more anti-racist than Zenyatta because, like, her literal story on the wiki says committed to protecting humans, Omnix, and movements that can make the world better. I do think an argument could be made for Tracer to be, you know, less racist than Zenyatta, but yeah, I don't think it's a big deal. Next up may shock you, but not really. It's Winston. Winston actually went on the mission with Tracer to go save those Omnix and humans from an Omnic attack. And so it proves that, you know, he somewhat cares about Omnix. And I think since he's best friends with Tracer, it kind of kind of is fitting that he's, you know, anti-racist. It's also fitting that he is a gorilla and he was part of the Horizon Lunar Colony. And when the gorilla uprising happened, he just, you know, headed out. Just for the fact that he's a gorilla living within humans and Omnix and fighting for them, I would like to think that he's anti-racist. Next up is actually Reinhardt. What's funny about Reinhardt is that he actually lost his eye and his mentor Baldurik, which I actually did look up the name this time. He actually lost them both to Omnix, which because of that you may think, man, he probably doesn't like Omnix, but on the wiki it says at some point he was present in King's Row where he protected Omnix and their sympathizers from rioters, which means that he is actively going out and helping Omnix and protecting them. And therefore, he is next up in the anti-racist. Next up is Mercy, who is actually kind of in a similar scenario as Reinhardt. On her wiki, it says, despite this tragedy, Mercy was consumed not by the thirst for revenge, but by a desire to aid the imperiled and advocate for peace. Which doesn't necessarily mention Omnix in it, but the fact that it kind of plays the reverse, I guess, I'm not really sure how to explain it. It kind of implies that she is trying to work with Omnix and work with humans to get them together, which she actually doesn't go out of her way to protect Omnix, which you could argue she's just not racist rather than anti-racist. But I would like to think that Mercy would just, you know, literally be anti-racist. I'm pretty sure she would be. Next up after Mercy is going to be Genji. Genji actually doesn't have much interaction with Omnix besides Zenyatta, and in that interaction, Zenyatta teaches Genji to be okay with his cyborg self, which he sees as a strength, which I think is actually pretty cool, because if he sees his Omnix self as a strength, that probably means that he looks at Omnix the same way, as a strength. Now, whether or not he thinks they are bad in that way or not doesn't matter too much because Zenyatta, you know, being Robo-Jesus, <laughs> probably influenced him to not be racist. And I think since he himself is part Omnic, it's, it kind of makes sense for him to be anti-racist and probably help them in need. And onto our final anti-racist is May. May seems like an anti-racist, but there's actually a reason why I'm putting her here. In her wiki, May is a climate change activist or I guess more accurately a scientist who's trying to figure out why the climate is rising. But a lot of people in the Overwatch universe actually thinks that Omnix 
being created are the reason that the climate is going up because they're machines they produce heat so it might raise the temperature may on the other hand is on the research team trying to prove the actual reason and so since she is on the research team you would think that she is trying to prove that omnics are not causing it and so i put may in anti-racist for that reason and now it is on to the not racist tier there's actually going to be quite a few overwatch characters in the not racist tier but first up maybe a little surprising is symmetra symmetra is not racist towards omnics Symmetra is someone who wants order instead of disorder, so you would kind of think that she would want Omnix gone to try and sort out the disorder by never having the issue again. However, she actually meets with Senyata and is influenced by him. Now, to what degree, we don't know, so I can't really put her in anti-racist, but just the fact that she has Senyata's knowledge makes me think that she is, you know, number one, she's not racist, but since she is so close to potentially being anti-racist, um, that is why she is the first one in the not racist category. Next on the list is Brigitte. Brigitte has shown no racist tendencies. On top of that, Brigitte has actually said in her wiki something along the line of she is trying to protect everyone, which doesn't specifically state Omnix like Tracer. However, she hasn't done anything racist and she wants to protect everyone. Therefore, she is not racist. And I think I'm going to try and speed it up now because there's going to be quite a few characters coming up. And so I'll be just saying they're not racist a lot and we're just going to go on from there. Farah is next up. Farah, like Brig, is trying to protect everyone. It doesn't really say Omnix, so she's just there. Ash is actually a pretty interesting one. Now, Ash actually has her well-known butler named Bob, and Bob is an Omnic who actually kind of raised her. Her parents kind of neglected her as a child, and so her butler, Bob, would raise her. And so because of her butler, she's obviously not racist towards Omnics. The issue is she hasn't really proven anything else, so I can't really call her an anti-racist, and she's not going out of her way to protect everyone. And so just because of her butler being an Omnic and raising her, she's obviously not racist. And I think we should stick with the theme of cowboys, and put McCree slash Cassidy next up. Cassidy actually has two reasons why he is not racist. Cassidy has shown no racist tendency towards Omnix. He is friends with Bob and Echo. And even though Echo is kind of an echo of someone else, Bob is full on an Omnic and he doesn't seem to mind him. Also, at some point he says something about being against Omnic trading. I don't really know what that's for. I think he was just trying to save Bob, which again, you could say he's actually anti-racist off of that. I didn't really think about that till now. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to move him down. I wasn't going to put him in anti-racist, but since he single-handedly wanted to save Bob, I would like to think that he's anti-racist off of that. He doesn't really do anything that's anti-racist besides that, but I don't care. I'm changing the tier list as I go. Next up, again, it's kind of coincidental, is Echo. Echo literally shows just no racism at all. She's literally just an AI that is trying to learn and everyone around her is not racist and also not anti-racist. She just kind of does her own thing. And so I would like to think Echo's kind of the least influenced person in the whole Overwatch category. And so she hasn't really learned racism. She's not really racist at all. And so I'd like to think she's actually the middle of the pack when it comes to racism. And just like Echo, I actually have to put Arissa next to her. Arissa was built from an Omnic that was destroyed by Doomfist, and Ify rebuilt her. Now, I think it goes without saying that Ify is probably not racist. Ify is a little girl who made a robot companion, so I can't really say if Ify is anti-racist, but she's definitely not racist because she's literally built an Omnic. But how that affects Arissa, we don't really know. Arissa doesn't show any racism. Um, it shows Arissa actually helping a human, which since she's an Omnic, it means she's not racist towards humans. And since she's an Omnic, I'd like to think she's not racist towards herself. And on top of that, she is learning just like Echo is. And therefore, she is not racist. Next up is who I actually think would be near the middle of the pack. And that's Kiriko. Kiriko has such little lore that it shows no racism. The only person she is against is the Hashimoto, and they're not Omnix, they're not humans, or they're not specifically either of those, obviously there's humans and all that, but the point is that she's fighting them because they kind of are screwing Kanazaka over, and not because they're Omnix, or not because they're humans. And so there's literally nothing to really go off if she's just not racist, or at least that's what she'd want us to think. Next up, surprisingly, is Anzo. Anzo has very little lore from what I can tell. Pretty much he just beats up his brother and moves on. Obviously his lore is deeper than that. People get mad at me when I simplify lore, which I mean fair. 
Um, but Hanzo, just like Kiriko, doesn't really have that much lore to go off of, and he's just not racist. And time for one of the biggest shockers. It's actually Widowmaker. Widowmaker has basically nothing to do with Omnix in her lore. Um, I actually think Widow has this, like, potential to be very racist towards Omnix. You would actually think she would be. However, since Widowmaker was brainwashed by Talon, she actually doesn't have much personality, and she just kind of kills whoever. It doesn't matter if they're human, Omnic, Gorilla. And so Widow just kind of is, is there. She's not racist, just like the rest of them. And someone who is in the exact same boat as Widowmaker is actually Sigma. When Sigma's black hole experiment goes wrong, he kind of becomes mentally deranged or something along that line. But he's not racist towards Omnix or anything. He just kind of listens to Talon, and that's about it. And now for one that is kind of subjective, we don't really know. It's Hammond. And two people told me this guy was the number one most racist Overwatch character, and here is why. They basically said since he has a profanity filter, he's very racist. And obviously that is not very good evidence. Uh, Ham is just kind of the middle of the pack. Again, doesn't show any racist tendencies, except, except he was a part of Junkertown, which Junkertown is historically racist against Omnix. The thing is that he's hidden inside of a mech, which is an AI which is kind of an Omnic. He just probably wouldn't be racist if he's using an AI Omnic. Either way, it's not a big deal. I don't think he's racist. The, the hamster's not racist, trust me. He also lives among humans. He's not anti-racist, but he's just... He's, he's a freaking gerbil. What do you guys want? Next up is Sojourn. Sojourn is actually kind of part Omnic. She has a bunch of robotics, but she does that because that's what she has to do to get things done. Uh, Sojourn pretty obviously is fighting with Overwatch against the Omnix because she's trying to protect the world and not because she is racist against Omnix and therefore she's just the middle of the pack not racist. Next up is the Lucio. Now you would think that Lucio would actually be higher on the list because his city I think it was Rio de Janeiro I might correct myself on screen and it was pretty hurt from the Omnic crisis so you would think that he wouldn't like Omnics however he has no prejudice towards them and on top of that he has a song that's like we move together or something like that and that song doesn't specifically mention Omnix and humans coming together but I feel like since it's a song that's going out there and it's saying we move together I would like to think that he's talking about everyone uh that doesn't mean he's necessarily anti-racist yet and on top of that he could have racist tendencies due to the fact that Omnix destroyed his home so we're just gonna leave him in the middle and not assume anything about him next up is D.Va D.Va kind of like everyone else is just kind of fighting Omnix because they're attacking her home uh she may have racism towards them just because they're always attacking her but there's nothing that can say that she is racist so she's just there she also has a mech which isn't an omnic isn't an ai but she's named it she likes it so i'm sure if a friendly robot came up to her she'd be okay and she would like that robot on to our second to last not racist we are going to talk about soldier 76 soldier was also a part of overwatch who you know fought against omnics However, Soldier surprisingly doesn't have any prejudice towards Omnix from what I can see. I actually expected him to start like hating on Omnix, but he really didn't. I was actually a little surprised to see that he had no prejudice. And on top of that, during the um, Dorado cinematic, I can't remember what it is. Hero, that's what it was. He actually beats up the gang that beat up the Omnic in the street. So you would actually think that he's anti-racist off of that. But the reason that he beat up that gang was because they were robbing a bank and not because they beat up an Omnic. And so he's just plain not racist. And our final not racist is actually Anna, which is a little surprising why she's this high up. And there is literally one reason why she is this high. And that is because in like one of the comics or something or something like that, I can't remember. I was reading the soldier wiki and it said something along the line of from Anna, quote, you are more of a war hero than Reaper. I, that's obviously a quote that I, I just am remembering from the top of my head, but I don't know, I obviously know why it's there, it's not racist, but this is like that one moment where I was like, wait a second, did she say that Soldier, a white person, <laughs> looks more of a war hero than the Hispanic Reaper? Which, I, I obviously know she's not being racist, I know she's not, I just found it really funny at first. And so I put her at the top of not racist, realistically, she's probably like by Sojourn. <laughs> I just, I found it really funny how she just randomly said that though. Again, don't take this video too seriously. But other than that, really, she's, she's not racist.
But with that, we're going to move on to the potential racist, which a lot of you may be surprised that I didn't put some of the characters in not racist, but you'll see why I have the potential category in a second. So first up in the potentially racist category is Mora. There is one reason why Mora is in the potential racism category, and that's because she is focused on human evolution, which doesn't necessarily mean she's against Omnix, but she really only cares about humans and their evolution. And therefore, I put her in potentially racist. She's also a part of Talon and is willingly there. Now, Talon, she doesn't necessarily agree with Talon. She's more with them because she wants to do her experiments. But it's just... I feel like she's going to be potentially racist against Omnix. I don't think she is completely, which is why she's at the very bottom of, of potential. But obviously this video would be boring if everyone was not racist, so she isn't potentially racist. Next up it may shock you, and that is Baptiste. Baptiste himself has not done anything, you know, racist towards Omnix. But Omnix literally destroyed his home, his family. He was orphaned off of the Omnic crisis and forgotten about. Baptiste joined Talon and military groups because he kind of had to. He had to fight against Omnix and do all that stuff, which I feel would really mess with him because he couldn't really choose his path in life because of the Omnic War and because Omnix destroyed his family. And even though he's actually trying to become a better person it did never say that he was you know racist against Omnix and never said he had a prejudice however it's kind of implied that he might have a prejudice towards Omnix it's kind of hard with Baptiste to pinpoint where he is on the racist category against Omnix and so I just put him in the middle of potential just because he actually does have a pretty likelihood of you know being racist towards Omnix again this next one might shock you and that is Sombra just like Baptiste Sombra was actually orphaned from the Omnic crisis and so for the same reason, Sombra is actually in potential for the same reason as Baptiste. She joined Talon. I'm not sure if it was her only option, but it was just to get there for power. But I put her higher than Baptiste because she actually just straight up hacks Omnix randomly. I don't remember where I saw this, but it said something along the line that she could hack Omnix and she does. And so she obviously doesn't really care for them, which, you know, doesn't mean that she's racist towards Omnix. But it's just enough to put her above Baptiste and racism. And our final person in potential racism is Doomfist. Doomfist is the leader of Talon, so we have to look a lot into what Talon is all about. Which Talon in itself is actually not racist. Their goal is to cause conflict in order to strengthen humanity. Which, you know, saying humanity rather than humans and Omnix kind of is one-sided. He's fighting for humans, he's not fighting for Omnix, which doesn't really make him racist in itself, especially because on Talon's like leader <laughs> group, Maximilian is there, Ramatra is hired. Uh, he obviously isn't super racist against Omnix. However, since his goal is to just strengthen humanity, it's kind of implied that he, lo he doesn't care for Omnix is the best way to put it. If you think that Doomfist is not racist, I think that's fair. I actually am going to now move him to the bottom of potentially racist because I feel like he's in the same category as Mora. He's just kind of not racist, but he only cares for humanity, just like how Mora only cares for the evolution of humanity. I also think that Baptiste and Sombra have more reason to be racist towards Omnix than those two. And so that is it for the potentially racist. From here on out, I would like to think that all of these characters have some sort of bias against Omnix or against humans. Now first on the some slash prior racism list is Reaper. Now this Reaper one is actually a little hard to explain. Now the first thing I want to mention about Reaper is he seems to really not like Winston. And he calls Winston a monkey which doesn't sound great. And so that alone we could put him in potentially racist towards gorillas which being racist towards an animal is a little weird but it's a sentient gorilla so it's a little rough but it's still racist in a way. And so that alone you can put him in some slash potentially racist. Um, but I also read that Reefer actually doesn't like Omnix and I couldn't find the source for it so I didn't put him in racist just because of that. And so in the comments you guys can tell me if Reefer is actually more or less racist. It seems like on his wiki that he doesn't really have any racism towards Omnix, but we know that he, <laughs> he kind of bullies Winston, we know that. And so I'm going to put him in some slash prior racism. Like I said, it's a little hard to explain. I would probably need to do more research on this one, but I just, I did quite a bit of research and for some reason I couldn't find it. 
Next up on our racism list is Bastion. I am sorry for those of you who wanted Bastion to be a crippling racist, but he is not. Bastion was literally invented to kill humans, and that alone would mean that he is probably the most racist character, because he is racist towards the whole human race. However, if you have seen The Last Bastion, you would know that he is a peaceful little robot. He does for a second go into killer robot mode, which means that he would shoot any humans and just start killing them. But the issue is that was, I think, years ago, canonically. And so Bastion obviously has gotten over his human racism. But here's the problem. He's a robot who could be recoded to, you know, kill things. I think since he is a Bastion who is historically known for killing humans, he could easily be programmed or re activated into killer robot mode and so unfortunately i would love to put bastion in not racist due to the fact that he's different but since there is potential that torbjorn didn't remove his racism chip i shouldn't call it that it's, it feels like order 66 you know like clones and jedis the clones are racist against jedis it's kind of like that uh bastion it's it's understandable wherever you put him bastion's just an odd one i feel like there is huge potential for him to be reactivated as a killer robot. And so I put him in some slash prior, which is he's actually one of the reasons why I put slash prior, uh, just because there is a chance that his racism might come out in the fact of him just being programmed to kill stuff. And so just for that reason, I'm going to put Torbjorn next to him. Torbjorn, if you guys did not know, actually was racist against Omnix. That was until he met Bastion. Unlike the people in potentially racist, Torbjorn is canonically racist against Omnix up until the fact he met Bastion. Now, is Torbjorn racist against Omnix now? We're not completely sure, but obviously he has a pet Bastion, which, you know, you can't really be racist and have a pet Omnic. I mean, I guess you could if, you know, slavery, but we don't, we're not gonna, I don't think he's Torbjorn's using Bastion as a slave, let's be honest here. He also has a turret, which has an AI, which isn't exactly an Omnic. And so Torbjorn is obviously not racist. He has gotten over his racism, or at least we would like to think so. But just for the fact that I think he's, he's been war hardened so hard. He lost his arm to Omnics. I feel like there is a little bit of that untrustworthy in him. And so I'm going to put him in some racism, even if it's not like a harmful amount of racism. Because unlike Bastion, obviously Bastion is going to be coded towards racism. So like right now, I'd like to think that that Bastion is not racist at all. But in the rare scenario, Bastion could just start killing things. However, Torbjorn is always having that little bit of racism in him. I hope that made sense. And next up, our final some racism is Zarya. Zarya, just like Torbjorn, is racist against Omnix. However, during the comic or whatever with Sombra, Zarya actually saves an Omnic from being blown up in a warehouse. Zarya and the Omnic then talk, and the Omnic asks, Why'd you save me? And Zarya goes, I don't know, like a week ago, I would have probably killed you. And, you know, that's that's kind of subtle, but it just, this just shows that she's no longer racist, or at least she's getting over her racism. And so she still has that untrust of Omnix, just like Torbjorn. And I'd argue that it's worse because, you know, just a week ago she would have killed someone. But regardless, she is actually getting over it. So I think it is fair to put her at the top of some racism because she's still somewhat racist towards Omnix or at the very minimum, just getting over it. And now we get on to our final category, the last four heroes who are racist. And I'm going to start with the one that is least certainly racist. And that is Roadhog. When I shared this tier list with people, Roadhog was always kind of mentioned. Some people were like, are you sure Roadhog's actually racist towards Omnix? And according to the lore, he joined a group of Australians to go and blow up an Omnic factory or something like that. I don't, I didn't really understand it, but it was a terrorist attack on an Omnic facility. And since he is part of Australia, which, you know, Australia, Junkertown, all that, they hate Omnics because the Omnics destroyed Australia to a certain extent. The government gave up on them, Omnics controlled it, and like, this, it's a whole mess down there. Um, I think it's pretty obvious, I don't really know the Overwatch story. But from Roadhog's wiki, he does go around just killing people. And like I said, he was involved in a terrorist attack towards Omnix. And his best friend also is, you know, someone who hates Omnix. And so I kind of have to put him in the racist category. He hasn't done anything that's anti-racist towards Omnix, and he's only done something that has been racist towards Omnix. 
And so I can't say that he only has some racism. I can't say that he's not racist. I just have to put him in racist. If you guys disagree and you think that he's just doing what he has to to survive or to take over Australia again, I think that's fair. However, the next three, I think it is not fair. I think the next three are guaranteed racist. And at number three is Ramatra, the new Overwatch character who isn't even out yet. Ramatra, from what I understand, is very racist towards humans because he tried to make peace with them, but he couldn't. And he thinks that humans cannot make peace with Omnix. That is kind of a bold assumption to make about a group of people. And so just because of that view alone, he is obviously racist. Now, why is he not more racist than the other two? Let's talk about that. The reason that Ramatra is a racist is because he has gone through the turmoils and seen all the death of his brethren. He also believes that Omnix are not refundable since Omnix cannot reproduce. I mean, I guess they can. They can, you know, AI and all that. But since Omnix don't work exactly like humans, it's kind of rough for them. Omnix have to rely on humans to remake them. And so I like I would like to think that Ramacho's reasons for hating humans is more justified than the other two. And on top of that, he also tried to make peace with them in the first place. So I would like to think that Ramatra is less of a crippling racist than the other two. Which speaking of, since there's only two left, let's let's put them both on the tier list real quick. We have Junkrat and Junker Queen, which by how I'm ordering them, you can probably know the rest of the order. So let's talk about them. Junkrat is the second most racist Overwatch character, which I think there could be an argument to be made that he is the number one most racist. But on his wiki, it literally says that he has a low opinion on Omnix and people who believed they can be trusted. So just like Ramatra, he does not trust Omnix, which doesn't mean that he's necessarily racist towards him completely, which, I mean, he kind of is because, you know, he is. But he's not being racist for being racist. He's being racist because he doesn't trust them. He thinks they are killer robots. Which is true. A lot of them are killer robots. Actually, every Overwatch character that you can play as is a killer robot. But I would like to think that Junkrat is more racist than Ramatra due to the fact that he has never tried to make peace with Omnix. They just kind of came up, blew up his town, and so on. So he's going to be more deeply rooted in racism. But the reason that I think he's less racist than Junkrat Queen is because he doesn't. He actually has a reason to not trust them. It says that he just believes they cannot be trusted. While Junkrat Queen, sadly, her wiki just says just straight up says she is prejudiced towards them her wiki literally drives home that she is just racist my mom just texted me and is asking if my tummy hurts i am not joking she put tummy in the text message that's why i got distracted at the end of that back on the subject on why trunk your queen is a crippling racist uh basically Australia destroyed her home. We already know that, just like the other two. But she just is straight up just... <laughs> she hates Omnix to hate them. She literally owns Junkertown. Banned them from Junkertown. Not even just like something low opinion-wise that would Junkrat would do. Junkrat would probably let them in and then beat them up. Well, Junker Queen just straight up bans them. It's not because she's afraid of them. She's obviously not. She just hates them that much and on top of that she has the brawls which the brawls don't have omnix in them necessarily but they're scrap fights i'm sure they beat up omnix and all that obviously i don't have proof because i didn't get to read that much of the wiki there's 36 heroes that i have to read through but i think it's pretty obvious that there's only racist tendencies and like i said her wiki literally just says junk junk queen is prejudiced towards omnix that is literally a personality trait of her and so, like, she has to be the most racist. It, there's no other way around it. You would literally just have to prove that someone else is more racist than her. And at least anyone else who is racist towards Omnix or racist towards human have a better reason than her to be racist. But yeah, that is the list. I was just messing around when I was making this video. I just kind of found it funny. The whole inspiration actually came from a Team Fortress 2 like racism video which was recommended to me like seven times before i actually watched it and they did have facts and all that like talking about how much they would say some racist term towards the other uh team fortress 2 characters but i just decided to do this for the fun of it i thought it was kind of cool that overwatch has its own version of racism that isn't offensive now i know this video isn't going to be perfect there's going to be some that will change around probably afterwards but if you enjoyed like and subscribe because i had to read 36 wikis for this 
I also had to play every single character in a quick play game and get at least somewhat good footage, which is kind of hard. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you did enjoy. I don't think I'm going to be doing another racism tier list because, ooh, the thumbnail went through some big changes. Woo! I'm glad I decided on the thumbnail I did, but that's about it. I'll see you guys later. Oh yeah, one more thing.